arrangements are set for a high school football player who died from overhydration. Visitation for Walker Wilbanks is tomorrow evening from 5 to 7.30 at First Baptist Church of Jackson. His funeral is Friday morning at 11 at the church. The head of Jackson Prep says classes are canceled Friday. Walker Wilbanks' brother sent a tweet that said his heart is going to save a 14-year-old boy. Tonight, a community continues to mourn Wilbanks. 16 WAPT's Mike Perchick talked to doctors and administrators about Walker and the condition that killed him. This was an unfortunate incident uh, in this young man's life um, that, was, that revolves around this balance of sodium and water. Doctors say hyponatremia killed Walker Wilbanks after his football game. It happens when there's too much water or not enough sodium in the bloodstream. Wasn't anything anybody did wrong. Uh, whether it's the coaches or the doctors or, or Walker, um, it was just what the doctor said, uh, uh, a freak deal that, uh, that no one had control of. We looked at where warning signs could have come from, but there's no clear answer. Schools like Mississippi State have what they call a hydration test for athletes before every practice. The hydration test uh, really, I think, is primarily developed uh, for wrestlers, uh, for the ability to monitor whether or not they're properly hydrating themselves as they try to make weight for their particular weight class. It's based on a color chart. The clearer the urine, the more hydrated a person is. But in Walker's case, this test might not have helped because his ultimate problem was not enough sodium. The last physical symptoms are tough to pin down at game time. Uh, nausea, vomiting, uh, confusion, um, you know, not knowing what quarter it is, not knowing what day. You know, the, the same things you look for in a concussion. Doctors say this is very rare, but they hope this tragedy can help prevent the same thing from happening in the future. From Jackson Prep, Mike Perchick, 16 WAPT News. The athletic director says the school followed proper protocol during the situation. The football game scheduled for Friday against Kapaya Academy has been moved to 